And that epoch begins today. Our top story, today Springfield will experience a rare total eclipse of the sun. A solar eclipse is like a woman breastfeeding in a restaurant. It's free, it's beautiful, but under no circumstances should you look at it. We recommend using a homemade camera obscura, fashioned from an ordinary shoebox and paper towel tube. This was supposed to be pre-made. Fine, I'll do it myself. Where's the end of the freaking tape? Forget it, we'll do it next week. The eclipse is today. There's an eclipse when I say there's an eclipse! Brace yourself for Umbra! I'm gonna see it first! No, I'm gonna see it first! Uh, hit the road, you big load! <laughs> my space toy! Oh, it's okay, homie. You can have my viewer. But, Mom, you'll miss the eclipse! There'll be another one in North Yemen in 2027. We have totality, people! <sighs> we'll be talking about this together for years! I finally feel like part of a family. Oh, I can't miss out. Just one little peek. <gasps> it's beautiful. Ah! Now, Marge, your eyes must stay completely covered for two full weeks. Don't worry, honey. I'll be your seeing eye, Homer. We're in some kind of doctor room. Bunch of stuff on the walls. It's kind of hard to describe. Uh, I'm going to take my break now. Hey everybody, welcome to Monday! Yay! We made it through our first week in April and it was pretty darn good! Had a little bit of rain back there, a little bit of cloudiness. This week's actually gonna... Well, I'll let the weatherman get to it in a little bit, but we'll start with some headlines. Starting with... Oh yes. Why April's total solar eclipse will be a historic event in the U.S. Honestly, every solar eclipse that happens in the U.S. is a historic event. <laughs> and this one's no different than the last one or the next one. Yeah. Next up, in line with that one, some chips will sell exclusive total solar eclipse flavors only during the totality on April 8th. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. Unless there's just like six stores or something. They already have them. They're just going to open them up. Someone's going to be inside missing the solar eclipse while they're buying the chips. That seems like a weird gimmick. I don't know. I'm not sure that I would go with that one. Because you want to be out and see it. You know, you'd see that that makes it the historic event. Seeing a historic event is why it's such a big deal. But you're going to be inside buying chips? That's not the historic event. We're going along. Uh, the best cup of steak to be served with eggs for breakfast is bacon. Yes, that's the best cup of steak. Bacon. Because <laughs> that's what you should eat with the eggs is bacon. I know, steak and eggs is a thing, but not for me. All right. I hope everybody's ready for a fun field and action packed, warm, nice week this week. Uh, I know I am. We've had a lot of fun. And uh, Lana and Ray have been doing a great job on these. They are getting back up on YouTube as we speak. We've had those technical things. It's all done. It's behind us for the most part. So start looking for those on YouTube. We showed our 48-hour film contest last week. 
that is on YouTube as well, so have a great time enjoying all that fun stuff. In the meantime, we'll start with the episode, shall we? Here we go, starting with the positive quote for the day with Hannah. Think of all the beauty still around you and be happy. Yes, I look around me all the time and see the beautiful things. This beautiful wall, beautiful guitar, beautiful chairs, beautiful things all around me. I'm being kind of silly about that, but no, seriously, just sometimes we get so focused on the negative things that are going on in our life, we lose sight and we forget about all the good stuff that's going on. That's a huge problem. You stay in that lane of thinking about just the negative things, you really do miss out on some good stuff that's still going on, okay? So I know it's tough in those moments to shift your gears and say, oh yeah, I'm just, you know, like this bad thing's going on, but there's some really tasty popcorn over there, and I just don't feel so positive about the popcorn, but try to be positive about the popcorn. Try to be positive about things. If you keep working in that direction, it can balance out a little bit make things a little bit better during hard times. All right, thank you for that, Hannah. Next up, because the weather is changing, here is our weather forecast for the week. Hey, Connor here, and as you can see right now, the sky is crying right now. But next week, it's gonna be nice and hot. Sunshine and a bit of clouds. So make sure, so make sure you wear some nice clothes because it's going to get warm. Hey, that wasn't Clayton. Yeah, much better though than Clayton, I would say. Connor's really got this uh, weather stuff down so he knows what's going on outside when we look and see what's going on outside. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. All right, moving right along. Uh, this has become an interesting bit. I'm not sure which direction it's really going, but um, th this guy's got lots of revelations. Here's Sea Dog's revelations for today. Now it's time for Great Revelations with Sea Dog. Sea Dog. <laughs> That was Great Revelations with Sea Dog. Yeah, that guy, van down by the river. Maybe he needs to go on another walkabout or something like that. Get the head clear or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, next up we have our question of the day. This has been really good. Learned a lot about myself answering these questions and I know that this question right here is going to be one that really just opens up and just really really digs at the heart to figure out who you are and what's my purpose in life I'm sure that that's going to be this question right here what show would you want to be in and what show wouldn't you want to be in Breaking Bad I guess a show um, I um, would um, probably want to um, um, be in is The Owl House. Ah, that's a good uh, one. Some of my friends love that show. I love that show. Yeah, me too. What's a show that you wouldn't want to be in? I can't think of any. <laughs> I know a show I wouldn't want to be in. What? The Walking Dead. Oh, definitely not. Oh my god. <laughs> I Are definitely you... don't want to be in that show. A zombie show? Oh, a, a zombie oh, apocalypse? Oh my god, the movies are terrible. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, that's really digging at the soul there. Which TV show I would want to be on or not want to be on? Um, I don't know. Uh, there's lots of cool TV shows, but one from my past that I thought was really cool and funny was Mork and Mindy. That would actually be kind of fun. I mean, just I could imagine hanging out with uh, Robin Williams would be an absolute blast. But uh, it was fun, it was lighthearted, it was always goofy and stuff going on. It just seemed like it would be fun to be on that show. What wouldn't I want to be on? Anything that has to do with 
I don't know. Hard work? Heavy labor? I don't know. Maybe not. Whatever. I don't know. I would guess there's a lot that I would want to be on, but maybe uh, one of those crime drama shows. Whatever. I move right along. This one's been great. We've learned a ton of stuff. I mean, we should have a montage of all the stuff that we've learned just in the last couple of months. Here's Zach with Did You Know? Did you know that there's a solar eclipse today? But don't look up, because it might make you blind. You can see it around California at 10, 16 a.m. The solar eclipse is where a moon passes between sun and earth, casting a shadow on earth. Yes, today is the solar eclipse. Yes, today is a historic day in the U.S. and everywhere where the solar eclipse is affecting because every solar eclipse is a historic event. Uh, and if you're in one of those places where you can buy the sun chips and you missed the solar eclipse because you were buying sun chips, shame on you, but let us know how the chips were. And beyond that, it is the solar eclipse day. All right, well, now that the solar eclipse is apparently Wait, happening... really quick. Oh, I'm going to interrupt you. <laughs> Sorry. I think it would be funny. Um, I think we, you should really do, like, I just one part randomly where the screen does go dark, but you know, like, how in the cartoons when the screen goes dark and you just see the eyeballs blinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be funny. That would be awesome. <laughs> so if you could just try to add that in, I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> find a cartoon of like eyeball blanket or something. No, yeah. like some yeah. Scooby-Doo. Yeah, like Scooby-Doo. Johnny? But it's hey. like... Hey! Who turned out the lights? I'm a little scared in here. Please? Please turn the lights back on? I, the solar eclipse is a little bit freaky! Huh? Whew. That was a little <clears throat> uncomfortable. I didn't know that the solar eclipse was going to affect us here inside the building. But apparently, it, it did. All right. Well, that is it for Monday, April 8th. It is the historic day of the solar eclipse. So if someone gets to see it, cool. Although, check out the images online. The pictures are honestly something that's better than the actual experience of being Well, the experience of being there is pretty cool. But seeing it is sometimes a little difficult. I like the lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipses are cool because you can just stand outside and watch it or lay under the stars, you know, go out in the backyard, front yard, lay in the grass, put a pillow, blanket, and just lay and watch it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, have a great Monday, everybody. We have a cool week for you. As usual, we got cool stuff coming up this month. It is April. Not a lot of holidays and extra stuff going on because, weirdly, it's the, you know, the loop year and things are all over the dang place. So Easter was last month and there's nothing really going on in April. So uh, we got some cool stuff, though, on our way. Uh, May's right around the corner, which uh, we know we have our May the 4th. More cool stuff coming up on that. But uh, have a great Monday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, on the morning team.